What's up everybody, Flying Scorpion here with Stellaris modding tutorial video number six, the error log. So if you're following the guide, you're going to have some errors pop up in the error log when you actually load up the game and start playing. And I'll show you what that will look like here. If you go to the uh, logs folder and you should have quick access to that if you're following from the beginning um, and you open up the error log file, you will see there's a ton of errors. And look at this, missing localization key tutorial, missing localization key tutorial. And uh, what that says to me is that uh, when I named the localization file in the mod, tutorial underscore l underscore english dot yml, that it's the same name as one that already exists in the game. And if you go and look in the base game, you will see, oh, there is. There's actually one already named that. So this is what happens when you overwrite something in the game. Let's uh, just change the name. Let's go from tutorial do to uh, tutorial guide underscore l underscore english dot yml. And then let's load up the game. Okay, so we're in the game now, and once we've done that, you can then go to your logs file again, open up the error log, and you can see there's way fewer errors. Now, you might not have all the same ones that I do, because I, I do modding on the side of these videos, um, but uh, so you're not gonna have this, that's for sure, and you're probably not gonna have this, but you might actually have this. Uh, try to make unknown trait OP breeders lithoids into the opposite of this and did not find icon graphics such and such such and such. I'm like 99% sure you're going to get this error and there's a small chance that you have this error. So let's fix the one that you're obviously going to have and that's this graphics uh, icon one here. So we don't actually have an icon for the custom trait that we created. And to do that, it's very simple. We're just gonna copy over one uh, from the base version of the game. So we'll leave our modding folder open and we're gonna create the same folder path. So it's, inter was it graphics? Okay, new folder, GFX, and then it's interface, and then it's icons, and then it's traits. And then in here we put the traits opbreeders.dds. It's expecting that file to be there. So what we'll do is we'll go into the base game and that's in Stellaris, graphics, what was it, icons? Yeah, interface, interface, icons, traits, if we can find that, traits and trait OP breeders. So trait OP breeders doesn't exist. We're just gonna copy a random trait, like, uh, well, let's search for rapid breeders. Actually, let's take this delicious, trait delicious. We're gonna copy that file into our modding folder, and then we're gonna rename it uh, trait underscore OP underscore breeders, and then hit enter. Now we're gonna boot the game up again Okay, so we're in the game again. And remember, the last time we opened up the error log, it said this one, did not find icon, da 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 da, -da for the trait OP breeder. So we're gonna close this out and we're going to reopen that file in our logs. So error log, and there we go, it's not there anymore. So we fixed that problem. This is how you use the error log. Um, and I'm gonna go back and just prove that that graphic is working now. And there we go, overpowered breeders. It shows the icon for delicious uh, right there. So there you go. That's how you get the graphic icon for your traits and also how to begin using the error log to solve problems with your mods. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like. See ya.